Hey guys, what is going on? GT2King here back today with another video and today we're going to be continuing our most expensive unusual series where we go over the most expensive unusual for a really bad effect. So in the past we've covered massed flies, orbiting planets and nuts and bolts. So for the fourth episode of this series we're going to be covering purple confetti which is a first gen effect meaning it was released on august 18th 2011 making it over six years or almost six years old so definitely a really old effect so let's see how expensive the hats that have it are okay so we're going to be starting off with the number five one which will be the cheapest one of the five and it's going to be going to the purple confetti mask of the shaman coming in at 230 keys which translates to $515.52 so the mask of the shaman is a devil man hat it covers the whole face and it has just some tribal vibes so definitely an interesting hat purple confetti is a horrible effect so unless you painted it maybe violet or maybe a contrasting color so the effect shows it's really hard to notice the effect on this hat moving on to the number four spot it's actually a spy hat this time and it's a fairly new hat so there's only one in existence every one of these hats are one in existence except the first one so that means there's only one of them even in existence in tf2 so if you really wanted to get one of these it'd be really hard and it's just not worth it in my opinion but that's your choice anyways the hat is going to be the bedouin bandana for spy coming in at 320 keys for 717 dollars and 24 cents now as i said this is a pretty new hat i really like the bandana and per con purple confetti could be cool on it but it just really Really depends 320 keys is really expensive and I'm sure I could find some better effects on the Bedouin bandana or just buy a Bedouin bandana with like a spy misc that you could just wear in unusual form and make it look cooler with the same effect but yeah that's just my opinion on it okay so in the number three spot it's another fairly new hat it's not that new but compared to some of the first gen hats or hats with first gen effects it's fairly new and it's gonna be the purple confetti captain hardbeard cutthroat coming in at 320 keys as well so basically the same amount as the previous one of 717 dollars i priced this a bit higher because it looked a bit nicer to me and this is an unusual that i know a lot of people collect or i know some really high tier traders that collect it so i just placed it above the bedroom bandana again it's a pretty cool hat not my favorite design but it's a signature hat for some youtubers as well so definitely a pretty cool hat with a horrible effect okay so before we move on to the number one we have the second to last one which is the purple confetti potassium bonnet coming in at 600 keys making it really expensive for a banana on your head but 600 keys translates to 1344 dollars and 83 cents meaning yeah that's just really expensive if you painted the banana maybe like purple it could fit in pretty well with purple confetti or even white to make that really nice contrast but again you could just get like a strange potassium bonnet for a lot cheaper you'll have a strange one and then you could ju just get like an unusual misc like the antlers that are so much cheaper and pair those together but it's also one of one in existence so it's going to be really hard to find one if you want one as well so i think just comboing it with some other misks would give the same vibe plus you get two different hats for a cheaper price okay and for the last one it's been first place on almost all of these videos i don't know why it's so sought after but it's gonna be the purple confetti no mercy coming in at 643 to 644 keys that's a really interesting range it's just a one key range but either way all no mercies to me seem really overpriced it's not that great of a hat it's actually a misc but again it's just not that great i don't really see why they're so expensive but most of their price are really outdated so maybe there's just not a lot of sales because i know jewander is like he collects all of them so he doesn't even trade them away probably why the price are so unupdated but either way it translates to 1442 dollars and 32 cents making it obviously the most expensive purple confetti unusual in tf2 so yeah let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this i'm gonna do green confetti for the next video or maybe like kilowatt or terawatt we'll have to see but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.